welcome to Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services Private Limited. Today we'll talk about EN 15085 version 2020, which is regarding the railway applications, welding of the railway vehicles and components. It has got number of parts, but the part two is the most important for EN 15085, part two of version 2020 regarding the quality requirements and certifications of welding manufacturers. Those manufacturers who are actually dealing with the components of the railways they are required to get this quality requirement and certification under EN15085. And Eurotech Assessment and Certification Services, which is a certification body under the Euroset Greece, is competent and capable and authorized to issue the certification to all those manufacturers who are actually supplying the components to the railways are their organization which are planning to supply the components to railways are required to have this certification under us. Let us see what are the other parts of the EN 15085. Part one is basically speaks about general. Part two we already discussed regarding the quality requirements and certification of welding manufacturer. Part three comprises of the design requirements. Part four is the production requirements. Part five is regarding the inspection, testing, and documentation. And newly added part six is regarding the maintenance welding requirements for the components. So what are the levels of certification. The levels of certification which was released in December 2020 and applies in April 2021. The following are the important changes which has been done, which is the certification level four has been removed now. And now we are only left with three levels. The level one is basically applies to welded vehicles and components, oblique weld on parts with high security. This is important relevance. So level certification level one speaks about the high safety levels. Coming to the level two, the certification level two applies to components, weld on parts of railway vehicles with medium safety relevance. Are, that says the weld joints with high safety relevant uh, accreditation to ENI are not permitted. So, which is covered in the level one. Coming to level three is applies to the components and weld part on, on the low safety relevant. Here, the high and medium are not permitted since they are already covered in level one and level two. What are the types of activities? Those are there. Newly introduced are the activity codes that applied in conjunction with each of the certification level one, two, or three. A manufacturer of welding vehicles or components can apply one or more multiple activity codes to the scope of certification. So the type of activities are basically design and which is index D and the description for the design are given here. Production, the details are here. Maintenance, purchase and supply. So you can see the descriptions which are given in the slide. Therefore, the manufacturer certificate with the reference and the types of activities for certification declaration are given in the type of activity. So the minimum requirement for railway manufacturer, these are some of the annexures which have been given, which gives the minimum requirement of a 
railway manufacturer and it basically relates to all the levels. Welding coordinator is one of the very important person who will be coordinating all the aspects of welding and the railways for the organization. So the expectation for the welding coordinator have been reworked, updated, and addressing the technical knowledge through competency. So what the coordinator is being doing, what are the tasks and competence of welding coordinator, which has been outlined un under this standard. So he is required to qualify himself under this standard. And then the following four classifications are available. Basically, is required to have the basic knowledge of technical subjects, application and use of principles, and overall mastery of the subject and ability to develop the methods and procedure. So, which are covered for all these three levels. These are some of the references, normative references, which are the standards which we will be referring. And uh, the important ones have been marked with the blue uh, ink. And these are some of the important ones. And others are also relevant, but these are most important, which has been marked with the blue ink. Organizations who are looking for the certification under ISO 15085 and along with the welding training to their welders are requested to approach us, are requested to register themselves with us. We'll just give the name of the organization, email ID, and the mobile number, we'll get in touch with you. And uh, uh, we will uh, carry out the certification being a certification body for ISO 15085. And looking for the organization to get in touch with us. Thank you very much. Thank you.